guess you'd call it let's play of Ticket. As you notice it is for Minecraft version 1.5.2. In total there are 76 mods that are loaded and active in this. Now as you notice when I press single player there are no worlds. I do believe I had a Ticket Let's Play going on some time ago but uh, because of a lot of issues that were going on with it there's no way I could have uh, recovered the world so we're gonna start over again and hopefully this time nothing will happen <laughs> so let's see we're going to create new world and we're gonna give it a name We're going to call it Ticket with MC Redsmith. We're going to go basic survival. We're going to turn on the cheats just in case, you know, anything happens like, you know, beta holes and other stuff like that. I get stuck or, you know, happen to spawn in underneath, you know, suffocating into the ground and stuff like that. We're going to turn on bonus chest as well. And we're going to leave seed done, you know, like that. We're not going to generate any seed. We're not going to random crunch numbers this time around. So we're going to see where we wind up. Okay, and we're going to create the world. Now, hopefully this uh, Let's Play will go on for a while. And, uh, you know, hopefully things will be a lot better than last time. <laughs> As we... As you can see, we are loading into the world. Now, I'm going to turn my back to it and roll me a cigarette. Hey, what's up, pig? Like, I really wanted to see your butt. Tree Captor client side feature enabled. In other words, I have Tree Captator. Yeah! We in good business now. <laughs> oh, I love that Tree Captator. Ah, uh, okay. Well... As you do know, we uh, turn on the cheats. We're not going to really need them just yet. So, uh, let me finish rolling this cigarette, and then we'll get to killing some pigs. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, we got some wooden stuff. Hello, piggy. Think you can escape me? I don't think so. Not a very big tree, but come on, come on, come on. I forgot how long tree captator works <laughs> or takes effect to cut something down, depending on what type of material you're cutting it down with. But it does do that, and we are going to turn on magnet mode. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get ourselves situated here. There we go. We're going to cut down this tree as well. Then we're going to look at our map and see what type of uh, island it looks like that we spawned in on right after we get through cutting this tree. <laughs> However long that might be. Wow, that rhymed. Pig! Wow, I got a lot of pigs on my island. Alright. Oh, 
uh, not that, it's X, there we go. Oh, hey, we're just on the uh, tip of an island. And what is that that I see up there in that direction, if you see my, which way my arrow is pointing? Hmm. I think we have some rubber trees around here, if I'm not mistaken, because, yep, right there. Let's go ahead and chop this down with what's left of our axe, and then we'll get to digging, as far as setting up a home. Alright, so we got enough axe left, I think we can chop down this last rubber tree and we should be good to go. Maybe. One of these days. <sighs> Oi. There we go. Alright. Now let's uh, do the next best thing. Get us some seeds. Now I know Galacticraft is uh, in this mod pack. Now let's see, right there's some clay. Let's, uh, no, not that. There we go. Now let's see. Okay, so Tinker's Construct is not in this, but that's fine. There we go. Alrighty. So I think that we're actually on a pretty good area, especially if these pigs keep respawning. Uh, eventually, <laughs> should I say. I really want to see if there's a... Uh... Well, let's go over here to the mainland area. There's a bunch of wolves. Clay there. Now, if you're wondering what uh, texture pack I'm using, I will show you. Uh, options, texture pack. I'm using the John Smith version 9.5, which is a 32 by 32 HD texture. And uh, my FPS is running fine. A lot of people say that they can, can't can really run HD texture packs, even though that my computer is quite old <laughs> in uh, computer years. Ooh, cave system. Kinda wish Morph was in here. Be able to get that bat form. But anyways, hey, there's a cave over here. As well as several more. Okay, that's not what I was really looking for, but eh, whatever. I was actually looking to see if there was a village around somewheres. Eh, I grabbed that mushroom and we're gonna go into the snow biome. After we grab some roses. Come on. Alright. Let's uh, look at our map again. Uh, let's see. Tell you what. I think we got enough uh, saplings. We're going to head up into that plains area that's up over this way. That I see. Ooh, we're going to need those. <laughs> we're going to need some raids. Alright, break all that, and, oop. there we go, come on, let me up, thank you, and we're going to continue, oops. there we go, we're going to continue off in that direction, as you can see, we got a plains area, up over here, I mean, we got enough, uh, spruce saplings, oak saplings, birch saplings, and rubber saplings to do us for a good while. Uh, we kind of got plenty of food for now. Once we get over here into the plains, we should have chickens readily available, as well as maybe some pigs and sheep. Let's see what we got. Whoa, okay, train build. Oh, cows.
I know, that was kind of mean. I just yanked the dirt out from underneath him. Now, let's see. Let's see if we can get one more up over here. Let's see. Am I going to be able to push you to where you can join this other one over here? Uh, I hope so. Ugh, get in there. In there. Thank you. All right. And you know what that means. Food. And experience. Now, I probably should go ahead and look at uh, making a oh, crafting table. Let's see. Alright, that mod's not in here. And, uh... Let's go ahead and get ourselves a wooden sword on the go. I know it's not really all that great to do, but <laughs> we need leather. So there's oil there, pigs. More cows over here. Whoa, a dimensional door. Don't want to go into that. Oh, man. That's not good. I'm going to have to get rid of that. All because a piece of beef went into it. Ah, oh, man. Alright, we got seven. That's enough for a pair of leggings. I think we got enough food for now. You notice we've been doing a lot of running and jumping here lately. But uh, we're going to collect that back up and we're going to dig down because as you can see it's getting dark. There we go. Alright, now see, mobs won't, are not really supposed to fall in on us, but, uh, there we go, and jump, 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 there we go, alright. And look, there's a piece of copper. Which we will need. Uh oh. Did I just mine us into a cave system? I think I did. Coal. Yeah, we're in a cave system here. But we do have three torches. So we're alright for now. There's some iron down there that I don't want to get. Ooh, Mr. Creeper. Hello. Get down there, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't really need your gr your mess there, dude. So. There we go. There's some copper. All right. And we do have a little pathway right there, and Mr. Creeper's coming up to take a look at us. <laughs> oh well, dude, you can look at us all day long, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> but we're getting up here. And tell you what, we're even going to uh, 
temporarily do that so that uh, we can put our crafting table down here without the risk of uh, a creeper coming up on us through that little hole there and wanting to blow us up all right let's go ahead and get this on the go shall we now let's see go ahead and use one for six pieces of charcoal which is an investment of uh, six even though I'm using a piece of coal which you know does an 8 to 1 ratio so does charcoal so I'm actually getting return investment more or less of six basically it's a six to one using one piece of coal for six pieces of charcoal not bad you know I'm gonna use the other piece of coal to smelt up the birch and then because we do have a few trees not too far from us in the uh, snow biome there we're going to be using uh, spruce wood to make a house or our base should I say now I am going to let that piece of coal burn completely out which is going to be shy of like literally two pieces uh, it's waiting for those two pieces that would have been there to smelt up because I'm not going to waste a uh, piece of coal not to get back the full return. Now I know I could be cooking up some food right now because I do see that my uh, character there has only two hunger <laughs> or two little uh, chicken wings left. <laughs> That's what I'm going to start calling my hunger is chicken wings. That works. Alright, now, let's go ahead and throw this piece of coal in, and smelt up those seven pieces of birch. And now I can actually upgrade to a better sword as well, while I'm thinking about it. There we go, stone sword. And I can also upgrade to a better axe, which will cut through stuff a whole lot faster. There we go. We'll just throw that in there and we'll cook off of it. Because that's only going to live leave like basically one thing to smelt with uh, you know that being done the way it is come on hurry up there we go now we do have a stone sword so that you know we can fight and we're gonna move all this other stuff up into our inventory. Eat on a piece of steak. As you see, that really didn't last us. Now I could go ahead and make uh, some half slabs. As you can see, those really ain't gonna last that long, but it will get me a, uh, another piece of meat cooked maybe another two depending there we go full hunger and we're good to go we're gonna let the last of that cook off and uh, make us some more then I'm gonna cook up this one uh, oak wood plank here which really I don't really need that rubber wood so we're going to go ahead and turn it into 36 planks here and let all that cook <laughs> off the planks. As you notice, it is taking the planks a while longer. To burn through, anyways. Now, we do have eight leather, so I can make a uh, leather chest plate or a leather tunic 
how it's called in uh, Minecraft. See, leather tunic. Yeah, come here. And we'll use red dye to go ahead and make our red tunic red, as you see. I mean, we do have three bread, so, you know, we're good there. We have three iron, which ain't bad at all, and we got copper. We got enough seeds to start us off on a pretty good farm, even underground. But as you hear, the zombies and everything else trying to get to us, more or less. Now, I bet you're kind of wondering why I'm not using uh, the charcoal to smelt up what I'm needing. Well, I'm about to in just a second. I'm just about to use one piece. There we go. That'll cook up the rest of those eight pretty easily. And I'll have one pork chop left after I use two pieces of charcoal which will leave us ten pieces of charcoal for us to do some stuff with. And see so I'll just go ahead and fit those up in there because that's actually cooking that one piece that's you know in there now is cooking up all that. And we'll have the sixteen raw pork chops turned into regular pork chops. Then I'll use uh, that last oak wood plank to cook up the last pork chop. You know, while we're waiting for daytime anyways. I know, you're probably bored sitting here with me, you know, waiting on that. I mean, we could go out here and kind of do some exploring. I could block that off. But, you know, I don't have mob griefing turned off, so, you know, we're going to have some end of men being all mean and moving dirt around on us and everything. There's that. And now for that. Now, I could turn the raw rubber into rubber bars as well. But we're also going to need the raw rubber. Uh, or the rubber bars for making uh, electrical stuff. Let's go ahead and just don't really want to waste the dirt, but we can always get dirt. There we go. Let's see. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and make some torches. We're gonna make at least four of them so we can get down here and light this up down here like right down here there all right now I wonder if uh, I press F7 yeah that's in here okay so that tells me where I could possibly have mobs spawning there we go up 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 Alright, now you see that there. That's that's not kosher. So we're gonna need to cut down quite a few more trees, basically. Uh to keep you know places well lit. So yeah, that's lit there. Alright. Now see, that'll leave literally like I said, one piece of uh pork chop left for smelting over. Or converting over, should I say. Is it daytime already? Yes, it is. Okay. So, tell you what. We're going to make uh, some ladders. I see. That's going to give us that. And I think six should do us. 
Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And we got a dancing spider up here, being a fool. Poke that head up like a gopher. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just clear off some area here. As you know me, I don't like tall grass. I like a nice clear lawn. As you can tell, I am going to have to get rid of that, which means I need to mine up some gold and stuff like that to be able to do it, and I'm also going to need an ender pearl. So eventually I'm going to have to fight an enderman. Not pleasant times ahead. As you do see, we do have three strings, so I could actually make myself a bow. Since technically this cave entrance here, or well, it was a cave entrance until I blocked that off there, because that's what I blocked off, is part of our uh, housing. Might as well clear off down here too. Alright, and we do have two cows in there which will, you know, provide us food. I'm thinking about uh, seeing if I can get those two pigs to venture over. Say so he's going that way. And I don't want him going that way. I want him going this way. But they'll go however they want. He may wind up eventually falling into the oil. Which is what that black stuff is over there. Is oil. Uh, we do have three iron. I, I kind of want to make a uh, iron pick. But I'll also know that I'm going to need a farm on the go. So we're going to have to sacrifice the iron for a... Uh, A daggum uh, bucket, which is not really kosher, but meh, whatever. All right, now let's go ahead and clear us out a little bit more headroom here, and tell you what. Well, actually, that's not going to really matter because 
Finish is going to be there. Um, where's that chest? There it is. There we go. We're going to go ahead and offload this stuff here. I'm going to need at least one of those. I'll tell you what, we're going to need the three iron, so let's see. We're going to put six of the planks into here so that uh, we can at least smelt that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going it, to... I think it takes two per ore, maybe... It'll just take three. Yeah, it's going to just take three. Which will be alright. Oh no, it took two, so, you know, that's fine too. Gives us back more. So let's go ahead and get a bucket. And let's see, cows are that way. And we're going to. Mine over this way just a little bit and then we're gonna go and grab that dirt we're gonna create ourselves a little farm right here knock that torch off and let's see One, two, three, four. sticks and with what we have here we're gonna go ahead and make another stone pick real fast let's see okay and we can pull that up and there will be our walkway. This here will be our farm. Which I'm going to need that dirt out of there for now. Oop. And there's the other dirt. Okay. That's going to take multiple trips back and forth for water oh crap don't tell me it's night time yes it's night time where was the nearest source of water oh great it's freaking good distance well no sense in sitting around the house